Mensa heads to one of the city's many graveyards. Are we now in one of the graveyards that the body snatchers would have operated from? Yes, in fact, Greyfriars would have been one of their favourite graveyards. It's right in the middle of the old town where all the criminal activity went on. It's also fairly close to the anatomy department of Edinburgh University, where they would eventually sell the bodies. The resurrection men, they were called, used to come in late at night. They would climb over the wall. They would find a freshly dug grave, uncover it, open the coffin, and then they would pull out the body, usually using hooks that they put into the corpse's nostrils, and then they would just slide the corpse straight out of the coffin and into a sack. This must have been truly hellish for families who'd just lost a loved one. And people were far more superstitious in those days, and yes, robbing graves was a, was a, a horrendous thing to them. The resurrection men were considered to be the lowest of the low, worse than murderers. Body snatching was so rife that it actually affected how graveyards were designed. Walls and watchtowers were erected to protect the city's dead. If you had enough money, you could actually have the body locked away in one of these. This is called a mortise lock. And basically, you can see what it's for. The body stays in here, so it can't be lifted out of the ground. Once it's been in here a couple of days, it's useless to the anatomists, therefore useless to the body snatchers. And so it could then be taken out and buried properly. But Tessa is not convinced that Burke is the figure on whom Jekyll is based. It's interesting because you get the filthy activity of stealing people's dead bodies. But on the other hand, the need to progress science. Yes, the body snatchers were vilified, but they were only half the equation. So the other side was the doctors taking the bodies. It helped to bring doctors in Edinburgh into great disrepute. And then, of course, Stevenson ends up writing Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde about a very flawed uh, medical man.